go. It's yeah. Christmas! Mate, what? <laughs> Welcome to the Two Pints with Will and Ralph Christmas episode. You'd <laughs> never be able to guess, would you? I love Christmas. Look at him, child, absolute child. I love a Christmas jumper. This jumper as well that I'm wearing, it combines two of my favourite things. Yeah. Rocky Uh and Christmas. But and also, down here, it's got 76, which was the year I was born. This jumper was made for me. Uh, It kind of was. Why does it have... um... Why does it have 76 on it? Is that just coincidence? Not a clue. Really? The jumper chose me. When I went in the shop, I went, that one. Amazing. Um, And did they not have one in your size? No. Shut your face. (laughs) Um, It's Christmas. I eat a lot. Um, uh, Oh, and they light up. And my app lights up. up. Of course they light up. You've got to have flashy Tilt your head down so the camera can Can see it properly. There you go. If you're watching on YouTube, I've got a Christmas (laughs) hat on there, lighting up, and I've got a rocky Christmas jumper. And on the back, it's got Mickey on it. What more do we need? Yeah, what more do we need? Where's what your more? Christmas stuff? This is me. I'm Look a at sophist- you. I'm a sophisticated Do you remind gentleman. me of? Who? The Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> that skinny black lad who just walked. Was he all, all in black with a big pumpkin head? You ever seen Nightmare Before Christmas? You mean Jack Skellington? Yeah, him, yeah. He had a skeleton. What are you talking about? He's all black and he's got a big white head. But you said it's not a pumpkin. Oh, is it not? That would be a Halloween. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's wrong, yeah. Well, him then. Skeleton head. <laughs> Skeleton head. Jack Skellington. That's who, that's who you look like. You're not in the festive spirit. Um, well, I'm being sophisticated and cool. Bollocks. I've, I've got something for you. <laughs> Do you really? Because I knew. I knew you wouldn't get involved. I kn- oh, what have you got? Right. Honestly, it's, I don't need kids. I've already... Oh, my. Here we go. Look at that. It's lovely. If, you, if you're listening to it, it's a lovely reindeer in a Christmas jumper, Right. With, and it's snowing. <sighs> and it's got a big, lovely red nose. It's Rudolph, is what it is. Is it? All right. So on. get that on. Pass it over. Get it on. <laughs> of course you've got Get that, that one. Of course you've There might be a bit of gravy on it, because I don't know if I've washed it from last year. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, cranberry sauce on the sleeve. <laughs> don't have cranberry. Mint sauce with everything, me. Mint sauce I for have Christmas mince, dinner? I have mint sauce with everything. Mate. You can't have mint sauce with Christmas dinner. Don't you tell me what That's I can have mint sauce shocker. with. That's a shocker. What would you have mint sauce with? Bacon sandwich? N- no. No. Don't be facetious. You said you have it with everything. I don't have it on my bleeding cornflakes, do I? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, look at you. Oh, there he is. Wow. That's better. <laughs> I have to say, I quite like it. <laughs> I then, do feel like I'm rocking it. And then I've got oh, this Oh, behave. <laughs> Put that behave. on. Come on. Put that on. It's a little Rudolph horns with a Christmas hat. There you go. Let's see what that <laughs> horns. What are they? Ant- Rantlers. Antlers. Rantlers. <laughs> Rantlers. <laughs> I've not even had a drink yet. Cheat <laughs> Rantler. There we go. There we go. If you're watching on YouTube, you've got a treat there. <sighs> wow. Okay. So I'm now wearing a tiny Santa hat and antlers and a Christmas jumper. Put your lights on. Does it light up? Your jumper does, yeah. <laughs> you've got a switch in there somewhere. You'll feel Where? for the pack in there and the side. Oh, I have as well. There's a switch in there and it'll light up nicely. Okay. It'll go twinkly. How do I do this? There's a switch on the top. On the top. What am I doing? How am I doing this wrong? Talk amongst yourselves while we're just (laughs) just lighting his top How can I get this wrong? Yeah, you're going to have to help me. Have you found a switch? I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for, do I? There's a switch. (laughs) You're a switch. How long did it take two man to... to (laughs) How long, does it, how long does it take two imbeciles to switch on a Christmas? You've, no, oh, you've, it does. It you, twinkles. You're flashy. All right. I'm not going to lie. I'm quite into it. We're f- quite we're into now it. we're in the festive All spirit. All right. Let's do, th- let's do it again then. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Welcome Christmas, everyone. to the Two Pints with Will and Ralph Christmas episode. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was going to say, are you excited? But I mean, clearly you are. Who doesn't like Christmas? Do you know what? It's, it's the time of year, right, where... I think you get everyone together and you, because you, you're quite miserable. You don't sort of see lots of people. <laughs> you are. You don't like seeing people, do you, really? You don't, <laughs> you're not one of them people that go, let's get everyone over, family and friends, gather around. Yeah, I mean, look, I have been known to. I just, I just can't be bothered organising it. That's my problem. I'm miserable. Like, I'm like, ugh. If someone else organises it, I'm bang on it. Well, do you know, that's what I think Christmas is, though. It's where you can get everyone together. And another thing as well, if you have a beer... Right, at 11 in the morning on Christmas Day, no one says nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? What are you talking about? We did our first episode for this series. It was 11 in the morning and I said, let's have a beer. And you were like, oh, do we have to? Yeah, because it's not Christmas Day. <laughs> on Christmas Day, you're allowed to do anything. You know, you get up, 
Your kids open your presents. It's the excitement. And, and I think Christmas is for kids. But when you've got kids, you relive it all. And my kids are getting older now, but they still love it. Yeah. I've just ordered loads of Christmas decorations. I'm getting loads of stuff. I decorate the whole house. I do it all outside the front. I've got a Grinch outfit that I'm going to put on at some point. I was going to say, you've t you have actually told me this before. I think you talked about it on the pod before, what? but you're going to have to tell me and tell everybody again what you did last year with your Grinch outfit. Well, uh, yeah, well... <laughs> You can't give me a Grinch outfit, right? And Will put, loves the Grinch, oh, the Grinch more than anything else in the world. He loves Jim Carrey as the Grinch. It's he the does best. an imp impression, which is not bad. Blind me with pepper spray. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> you know, I've told you, I'm sure we've talked about this, but because you used to do that all the time, every yeah. now and again, with no context and no one else knows, I'll be walking through the world and someone will go, oh, that's brilliant. And out of nowhere, I'll go, brilliant! <laughs> and everyone's like, I are you okay? Rallo, you got? And I love it. And I just, I, yeah, I had the costume on and I was stood outside my house just shouting at people. <laughs> Christmas morning. Past. Yeah, about nine o'clock in the morning. For how long? For ages. <laughs> how long? Ages. Even a dog went past. Like, Max, where have you been to Whoville, haven't you? I was <laughs> talking to a dog. Where, for how long? I want to know if this was five minutes no, or two it was, hours. No, it was a long time. I remember because <laughs> on his own. I was out there for He's ages 47. on my own. And then the kids went, Dad, come in. <laughs> Because I, I, I was just right in the spirit. And that's what it's about. It's about just enjoying it and you know, forgetting about your problems for a bit, getting your family around, having a few drinks, eating too much, you know, playing games in the evening. You know, if someone falls asleep, stick a sausage in the mouth, cooking your fly <laughs> oh, on. Wait, what tradition is that? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah, I was with you. Family together, presents, you know, games and uh, family. I'll have a lovely Christmas day. Stick a sausage in people's mouths. I've done what, it loads of what times. What tradition is that? Well, if you fall asleep, Usually, there's always a spare sausage, right? Because we, my, my wife makes loads. We make loads of food, like big Christmas breakfast. And then we have a big Christmas dinner. So we have these big sausages. Um, and my brother-in-law usually comes over and he drinks rum and he passes out. He always acts like he can have loads and he passes out. And he wakes up. Well, I usually try and wake him up by touching his nose on his mouth with a sausage in my fly hole. <laughs> so when he wakes up he's got my f my <laughs> crotch in his face with what he thinks is my cock on his lips right and when he when he goes oh I'll shove it in his mouth it's just fam it's a bit of tradition do you not do that it's, <laughs> it's a time for all the family it's a Christmas it's miracle the most everybody wonderful the time of the year. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bit of fun but you no know, um yeah I love Christmas um Christmas presents. Are you a giver or a receiver? In what? <laughs> Are we back to the sausage in the mouth? Or what? <laughs> hey, do you know what? I'm not had a drink yet. Go on, let's get it's a two pints. Well, I'm I've not got um, a beer on the go. Am I a giver or receiver? I do like to. Um, I think. I think. I. I think. I. I like. I do like giving presents more these days, like uh, I, because. I obviously like I don't have kids and whatever I'm, I tend to live a kind of life where if I want something and I'm fortunate enough to have had the career I've got yeah. like I'll, I'll buy it so yeah. if I want oh I don't know PlayStation 5's come out or whatever I'll, I'll buy it so I guess it's quite hard to buy stuff for me because it's not like oh I'm really 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 want that or whatever but I really enjoy buying like thoughtful presents for other people yeah. and, I, and I, for me the, the perfect Christmas present for me if anyone's listening and wants to buy me one is it doesn't have to be expensive it doesn't have to be for me, it's like something, the best thing is something that I didn't even realize that I wanted. And as soon as I get it, I'm like, that is exactly what I need. And that can be like something as small as like, I don't know, a, ki a kitchen implement that I never, a, a gadget. Like, say, like a new kitchen. A new kitchen. <laughs> I need a new kitchen. A kitchen do implement. It, do, yeah, well, I don't know. Like do you do a, a lot of cooking then? Yeah, I do. I always cook the Christmas dinner. Do you? Yeah, yeah. So who do you have around for Christmas then? Well, so there's my sister, a fella, uh, their two kids, my mum, my brother, his missus, um, me, a laugh. Like, wow. Yeah. That's quite a lot then. Yeah, I love it though. That's, I love it. And That's, you have one meat? Yeah, just usually turkey, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, just keep it keep it simple. Well, we have like three or four, it just drives me insane. Uh, uh, yeah, because it, who, who, wants to min who wants to mix ham, you know, gammon, we chicken? Have, yeah. Mind you, you've got to get your mint sauce on it, haven't you? So. Well, oh, it's true, though. Whenever I have a, a roast dinner, I have mint sauce. It's none of this. So, oh, it's part. You've got to have apple sauce. Stick the apple sauce up your ass. I'm having mint. <laughs> I want mint sausage sauce. in your mouth. Apple sauce <laughs> up your ass. It's the most, <laughs> the most wonderful, wonderful time of the year. 
<laughs> Give me a beer. <laughs> right, come on then. No beer sponsors, so uh, taped nope. over again. Yeah. Yeah. All you all you beer companies out there, shame on you. Yeah. How are you not sponsoring Balls a podcast you. called Two Pints Balls with Will to Balls to you. I actually, at this point, like, I feel like if we ever do get a beer sponsor, it's going to ruin the, our whole vibe. I <laughs> think the problem with At the start of every episode, we have to slag them all off. I think we've got more chance of getting a gaffer tape sponsor. The amount of time we're spending <laughs> gaffering up beers oh, yeah, so do, no one yeah. can actually see the logo. <laughs> logo. Well, 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 we'll this get this beer. What is it? S N M N A. What's it called? ASMR. Well, that's it. B- I never remember what it's BDSM. called. BDSM. When you, when you whisper into the microphone and then you pour a beer like this. Yeah. Or BDSM. Like. What's that bondage? You've been a bad girl. <laughs> Get that sausage in your mouth. <laughs> 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 what? No. What? Stop it. I was going to talk about Stop Christmas. It. We're festive. We're in the festive. Hey, cheers, everyone. Merry Christmas out there. Thanks che- for joining cheers us. To you, Ralph. Cheers, dude. Cheers, everyone. Oh, it's good. The Christmas spirit as well. And, and the. F- it's, it's, it's also if if you're not working because I've never done panto right and there's a reason for it. I couldn't imagine having to go to work like go happy Christmas everyone open your presents right I'm off to work. Ah yeah. oh, that would just drive. I know people Wait, say they do panto on Christmas Day. No, but the day after, so yeah. you'd have to go. You couldn't enjoy it like the day before Christmas Eve. You're on stage. Christmas Eve's great. Christmas Eve is like the pre-bit. You're rapping, yeah. you've got the Christmas films on. You know, I don't mean Eminem. You mean you're rapping your presents. But <laughs> <imagine> if, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got my lovely yeah. country Because I'm Slim Shady and so I'm the real shit. Shut up, it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I, you miss out on all that. I know people say Panto is great, but I always think if I've had a decent enough year and I don't need to do it to pay a tax bill, which is why a lot of people do do it to make a few quid, fair enough. If I've had a good enough year, take that time off with your family, you know what I mean? It's a, nice, it's a nice thing to have. I often think they're the same about um, what it's like for uh, professional footballers. You know, the Boxing Day fixture. Oh, yeah. Like, what does Christmas look like for them? You can't eat too much. You certainly can't drink too much. You can't must, drink anything. Yeah, it must the be. Day before a game. Well, exactly. I mean, what, a small glass of sherry as a tradition. Like, you can't really do anything more than that, can you? No. I mean, that, that, in general, is right for footballers. In, like, you know, they can't. They, but that's the price you pay it's well, a short career yeah you get paid a well, fuckload of money they, they, they used to to be fair yeah. brian robson famously used to have two pints and a full english before games yeah i don't want paul gasco and all that you know what i mean and madonna 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 Did you see you she played? used to play argentinian yeah. madonna yeah. <laughs> yeah. madonna used to play eminem likes to you know, <laughs> yeah well make sure he does well they apparently gift. used to drink but christmas that's what i like about it is it's freedom you're off work you get your family together and just forget about your troubles for a bit. Listen, when we're mentioning drinks, yes, because it's Christmas, yes. you had the Christmas jumper for me. I have a little surprise for you. You've not got me a Christmas present, Ralph. Come no. on. Oh no, 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 I've, I've, I've not. Oh, right. so chill, right. calm down. I was that, just, I was just that about was to get all extremely anticlimactic. <laughs> I was just about to get all melty. Going, <laughs> I've known you all this time. You've and never I've bought never me anything. <laughs> Christmas drinks. Christmas drinks. I thought I'd make us not eggnog. A snowball. Oh, which is I've never had one of them. Avocat. It's what? Lemonade. Avocat. Avocat. Fucking eight cats. Well, you'll like this because it's basically eggs in a drink. Right. You'll love it. Um, I mean, it's basically. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Yeah, you. You'll like this. It's basically eggs in a drink. Yeah. Nobody's ever said. Do you know what I need in my drink? Another egg. Okay, hold on. What have you got behind that curtain? You're like the Wizard of Oz. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's try this. Here we go. You ready? I'm going to watch this glug into the glass. It's going to knock you sick. It's going to knock you sick. sick. (laughs) Do do people drink this at Christmas? (laughs) What is it? Is Uh, it called a snowball? Yeah. Is it not eggnog? Whatever you're doing. It's it's like eggnog, but it's, it's for the perfect snowball, take two shots of avocado. And pour into a long drink glass filled with ice. We haven't got any ice, and that's a champagne glass. Add the juice of a quarter of a lime. I've got limes. Uh, and top up with lemonade. Well, I'll tell you what. You make that drink. No. And I'm, I know, I know, I know, we'll, we'll both have one. Well, yeah. Well, I'm saying while you make it, um, I want to talk about one of my favourite Christmas presents I got. I want You've just opened this bottle, and I want you to look into the bottle. Why, why, what's up? Look into it. <laughs> I'm not fucking drinking that. It looks like it's vile. It looks like off egg. Yellow snot. It smells weird. What is it? Are you sure that's not off? 
<laughs> that looks off to me. Well, we'll soon find out when you've drunk it, won't we? Well, you're That'd having it good. first. No, we'll have it at the same time. I can't have the shits at Christmas. <laughs> Seriously. It doesn't even Wait, pour! Watch, watch. watch. <laughs> uh, what is that? It just flopped into the glass. Like, oh, that's <laughs> not good. No, that's horrible, that. That's not right, that. You're having it. No, that's not right, that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ralph, that's horrible. That's not right, that. No, okay. Ralph. Maybe you should have shook it up. You're having that first. I'm not having I'm that. I'm crying with laughter. Let's just stir that. Boy, it's so thick. It's like custard. Are you, you're not supposed to put anything else with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. The juice of a quarter of a lime, it said. Bear with me. Okay, here we go. I've got limes. Hold on. Let me get... It's not great for an audio podcast, watching you make a, a, a drink. It's going to be great listening to you drink it, though. Bollocks. You're having some first. Nah. Honest to God, have you ever had a psychic ass? <laughs> no, no, honestly, I get this. Do you know wait, if, if wait, my, what? No, my ass just started bubbling before I've drank it. It's like it knows that it's going to get involved very quickly. A psychic. Like it's sometimes if I go, for, if I get a spicy curry, as I smell it, my ass goes, "Ooh, I'm going to be involved in a bit." It's serious. Honestly, it does. It, this looks like a job for me. Listen, see, did you hear that? <laughs> Did you just fart? Yeah. That's Don't what, fart on our podcast. I'm just letting no, you know. No, there are rules. <laughs> Do not fart hey, on our podcast. That's going to go down well in this room cupboard. <laughs> Mate, this is a small room. Mate, you're vile. No, I'm just saying, I was proving to you, I wasn't lying, that my ass knows that that's going to do something to my stomach. Oh, look at the lime juice gone in it. Oh, it's not pretty. Right, okay. Are you sure this is what people drink at Christmas? I mean, I never have, but let's try it. Oh, there's some lemonade. There's some actual drink going into this egg that you've made. Okay, here we go. It does look like scrambled egg, doesn't it? Let's be fair. I want to keep a piece for me, Chad. <laughs> you can have the rest. <laughs> hey, you'll, you'll need more than that. I can't believe you just farted on our podcast. Hey, do you disgusted. know what as well? I was worried because you know when you just let it go and you think, maybe I shouldn't have trusted that one. <laughs> I'm worried. I'm telling you now, if I sit here in this podcast and I smell that, then <laughs> this, this entire bottle of I'm advocates just saying, going Don't be pouring it. egg shit into a glass and ask, ask me to drink it. <laughs> my ass knows what's going to happen to it. <laughs> my psychic ass. Uh, you must have had that before. <laughs> no, I don't have a psychic ass. Right, you ready? Ooh. Oh, okay. No. Well, let's see if you enjoy Stir it up, Ralph, because you're going to get all that cloggy shit at the bottom. <laughs> Stir it up. <laughs> Look at it. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh. It's all right. Okay, here we go. Right. So Ralph, this is what is known as a snowball, and people. Is, is there alcohol in this? Is there? Oh yeah, it's alcoholic. Yeah. And um, people drink drink it's this alcoholic egg. egg. <laughs> Since see, see why, why? Well, why am I having it first? Because mm -hmm. you're the. You're Are the... you sure this is not off? No, it's not off. It looks off. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> It smells like deodorant. Is that because of the lemonade in it? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Have, have another oh, hang on. sip. Have another. No, no, no. Have, you can have a bit. I'll try it in a minute. Have another. <laughs> Do you know what it's a bit like? What? Mini milks. Remember mini milks? What's no, it's not mini milk. It's mini milk. <laughs> Stop saying I mean. milk. <laughs> like an ice cream. Oh, have it then. Is it nice? No, bollocks, you have a go. Alright, I will. It's not as bad as you think it's gonna be because of the lemonade. Okay. It's got a weird It's not as bad as it as you think it's gonna be. But do you understand the ice cream bit in it? Yeah, it's alright. It's got like a little ice creamy aftertaste. Yeah. I'll have your beer. You finish that. Bollocks. I'll have my beer, thank you. I'm quite simple at Christmas. I'll tell you what. Beer. I'll tell you what. New rule. What? I'm going to make one for me. This is a Christmas episode. Beers are going down. We're having we're having a snowball each. All right, we'll have a snowball. We'll have a snowball each. <sighs> oh, my God. So. Uh, uh, so who does the cooking in your house for <clears> Christmas? <throat> Christmas time. My wife just does the cooking. I'm like sous chef, which means I just do what I'm told. Yeah. Put that in there. I'm tidy up. She puts it in the sink. I wash it, put it away. Um, bit of prep the night before. Because uh, my wife's West Indian. Everything's got to be seasoned the night before. Right. So we'll have um, pork, lamb, and beef. And then also we'll have a Christmas ham, which is like a triple smoked ham, but we don't have that on Christmas Day. We have that like 
few days before and over Christmas. It lasts triple smoke. You just carve it up in the fridge and just keep munching at it, belting. It's lovely. Do you know what I've always <coughs> thought was really interesting about Christmas as I've got older is when you're growing up, yeah. your Christmas traditions are like, they're baked into your psyche, right? They're just like, this is what people do at Christmas. Yeah. But like every family, literally door to door, everybody has their own like little, like the order in which you unwrap presents. That's true. How you do that first. And so what we used to have was like, um, we'd come in when we, was, when we were kids, there'd be like a stocking. And then my parents, bless them, they'd be like a pillowcase full of presents that Father Christmas had brought. Pillowcase? Yeah, so we'd have a stocking and a pillowcase. I mean, it'd be full of like, small little bits and pieces but when you're a kid you just want the, the sheer number of like little things to unwrap I remember there'd be like a tangerine would be in there wrapped and of course we were like oh how exciting or it's like shower yeah. gel or something it was right. not, wasn't all expensive and and we always had to do family. sounds a bit shit your Christmas yeah for sure. <laughs> Look at tangerine and some no I'm not <laughs> gel we actually also got like I got a motorbike one year we got we got proper presents but it was like right. they were they were bulked out with right. like a hundred tiny little silly presents because you want to open them um, and we used to have to open the um, family presents first under the tree. And there was usually one big present that we would have. Yes. And the big present, my mum and dad would do a treasure hunt that Santa Claus had. had That's left cool. Us. So like in, in a tiny, in, um, somewhere in the tree in one of the decorations, there would be a clue. And the clue might say something like, oh, I'm just making it up off the top of my head, but like, uh, um, I'm so tired. Oh, uh, I'm so tired, oh my, oh me, I'd really like a cup of tea or something like that, right? Oh, you have to go to the And we'd kitchen. go, the kettle! And we'd leg it to the oh, kettle. That's good. And there'd be a clue in the kettle that would take us somewhere else, somewhere else. But the thing is, the big present, because it was always a big present, it was always in the garage. Why we never thought oh, to just go straight to the garage? Bollocks to this. It's beyond it's in me. The garage. <laughs> like, this is going to be a bike. It's clearly in the garage. Right. So, yeah, so that, that's what I would definitely do with my kids if I ever have them. I've done my tradition, which is literally you get up in the morning, you have a present from Santa, and then you have. Presents from mum and dad, right? That's from the kids. And then we have loads under the tree that are from all the other family, but they have to wait until after dinner to open them. How funny, because we did family presents first. Ah. That was our tradition. And then it was Santa presents right, after. Yeah, yeah. So, but that means Christmas, because you say, why can't we open them now? It's like, well, it makes Christmas last longer. Yeah. And also trying to tell your kids it's not just about the presents. Because I, 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 last year I did this, right? I'm not, I'm not just saying this, so... Give me a beer. You're what are you doing? You get rid of me a beer. Yeah, right. rid of it. Last year I did something that I hadn't done before. And I'm not saying this so everyone can go, oh, that's nice, or whatever. I didn't film it. But I, I, I got I got a chunk of cash, and I went into my local town um, near, in Slough and um, looked for some homeless people. Mm -hmm. um, Took a sausage with you. They and, were, and, they were and, asleep. and waited for one to be asleep, <laughs> and then stuck it in my fly and stuck it in his mouth. And I went... Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! It's the most wonderful time! I'm joking. So, no, I, and... Um, I paid for, for them to have a night um, on Christmas to, oh, wow. to sleep uh, in a hotel. Um, but and people, and then, and then, yeah, I took a picture and I just, because I think it's nice for memories and also it's nice to do something nice. But I'll be, I think I'm going to do that again this year because mm -hmm. I used to take the kids to hospitals and any old toys because I would say, listen, you're going to get new stuff. What are you going to do with your old stuff? Why don't we give it to, to yeah. charity or give it to, and, take them with them so they actually have to do it themselves yeah so they realize that's what christmas is about you know what i mean it's about giving that is a really nice idea helping it, it, as a, instead of there's something i mean it's still valuable of course it is but it's more impersonal to be like well we'll donate these and it's yeah. great to donate stuff but like it's to have somebody actually hand them over personally that's well that's and also a, having the kid do it yeah because they valuable, can see the reaction and also life lesson, feel but Kids like, I'm not giving them that. Why have I not given her that? I'll keep that. I might use that. I was like, no, yeah, you're gonna no, get new yeah. stuff. You've not touched it in four months. So that that thing with the homeless, I'm gonna do that again this year. Uh, my next door neighbour wants to do it with me as well. And I encourage anybody out there at Christmas, just have a think. If you've got anything spare or anything you might want to, you know, give away or help, do it. It mm. feels amazing. It's a lovely thing to do, and it really makes Christmas <laughs> that much that much better. Yeah. Um, I, I remember. Um, it wasn't last year. It was the year before. Because I know we always speak speak about Christmas presents. And it made my Christmas for a whole different reason. And it was when my kids bought me fart pants <laughs> uh, for Christmas. And what they just made me snot a little <laughs> bit. Uh, uh, we've got this. And it was it made it made Christmas Day very different because my wife and the kids obviously were as aware that I have quite loose bowels, especially around Christmas time. Mate. Your wife, your kids, <laughs> and every single person who listens to this podcast. It's a condition. But <laughs> and psychic. when the sprouts involved, it's oh. like, 
you better run and hide. These are going to go off soon. So they bought me fart pants. And what they are is they're underwear you put on and there's a filter in the back. So when you fart, it smells nice. No. Seriously. Sit right. So I Mate, wear them on an airplane next right. time. <laughs> no, I don't mind that. <laughs> you Push you it into the seat. So I, on Christmas Day, I open them. What are these? Put them on, Dad. Put them on. This was a few years back. <clears throat> I was going upstairs. I put them on under my be, under be pyjamas, my Christmas pyjamas. And then all Christmas, they couldn't wait for me to fire. <laughs> they, I've got two kids following me around, sniffing my asshole. <laughs> Have you done it yet? Have you done it yet? Have you done it yet? No, piss off. <laughs> and then I go, let us know when you're going to... Right, I've got one brewing, and they'd come running <laughs> and stick their nose up my ass. <laughs> it's, what if someone had been looking through the window. What sort of Christmas are you having in your house? <laughs> Sounds so, like an Amsterdam so, story. So, I, I, and then I'd fart, and they'd go... <laughs> and they, they work, they work. They, they, they work. Yeah, until... It's a Christmas miracle. Hey, which, which was good until my wife washed them. Oh, no. Yeah, because they did it. on A couple of days after, I went, have you got one, Dad? Yeah. And I let one go, a proper right one. <laughs> and, and the smell had wore off. <laughs> I nearly knocked my daughter out. She went, they don't work anymore. <laughs> so if you're going to buy fart pants after a wash... They don't work as well. <laughs> but <laughs> you don't got like refillable cartridges. <laughs> no, no, that that'll teach your kids. That'll teach them. Yeah, don't follow me around anymore. Trying I'm to sniff serious. your ass. If you don't got like refillable filters in, no, I, I think that's just it. I so they work for they two days. They might be better now, or they might have upgraded them. I, don't I like know. the idea. I, I reckon that, like, for any normal human being, they last like ten years. But for you, it was two days. Oh, two I days, mean. Ten years of wear and tear. That's that's what you get. After a day of sprouts and mint sauce, oh, they were rude. But honest to God, it was it changed Christmas. Um, I think we should play that fun game. What about best? You know, it's usually best dinner party guests. But dead or alive? We do it with, dead or alive? But we should do it with Christmas. Best best Christmas. And actually, the fact that it's a Christmas dinner might contextualize it a bit more and might might change your your answer. I don't know. So, Christmas dinner table, dead or alive? Who's your ideal? How many? How many people? How many people are we looking for? See, that's tough, isn't it? I mean, eight, so, maybe six or eight. So eight total around the dinner table. Eight total. So how many do you need to find? You've got you, Michelle. Oh, you're having the kids as well? well my what I'm kids. saying is it's your Christmas dinner table. Yeah, but so if, if I'm having people dead so or alive, how many people are you gonna have? Michelle and the kids can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm having Elvis and Michael Jackson there, <laughs> yeah. there's no room. Renee, do one. There's no room. You go, go upstairs. <laughs> go sniff some pants. <laughs> no, I'm... I'm um, I don't know. It's always a tough question because... If you think Christmas, Noddy Holder. But him going, it's great. That'd get on your tits. After, once a minute. I'd, I'd go, Noddy, you've said it once. Yeah, no, do, Noddy, do it. it. Do one. Um, right, I'll do one, you do one. All right. right. I think, who do I want there? Um, oh. Elvis. Because, A, I'd just like to, I, I just think having Elvis at your table is ace. But also... There's going to be a point where you're going to want someone to sing and you can play the piano and sing and Christmas songs. Elvis would be all right. Yeah. Likes a drink. Yeah, oh, he'd, he'd be bang up for a drink and he'd, he'd yeah. knock out the Christmas tunes, yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if, if I stand by this, but I'm like, Elon Musk? Oh, I'll tell you why. Jesus Christ. I'll tell you why. Elon Musk? I'll tell you why. Because, because I just want to ask him, like... <laughs> I just want a fucking present off Elon Musk. Uh, well, I was going to say, I was going <laughs> to say. It's Tesla outside, First Elon. of all, I want to just go to him. Why? But just about everything, right? So there's like, I want to be like, mate, what, what are you talking about? What are you doing? What You know, that'd be fascinating. But also it's like, imagine the presents. Yeah. So you got to think ahead about this stuff. Right. So go on, you. Um, Billy Connolly. Yeah. I love Billy Connolly. He's my favorite comedian and he. He's got, he tells stories. He don't tell jokes. So I, a lot of comedians are not funny. I've met a lot of comedians where I think, in real oh, life. they're funny. Yeah, in real life, they're, too, they're dead serious. Mm -hmm. And I just think he's just naturally got a story. And after dinner, his stories, it'd be great to have a laugh, have a little brandy or something at the end of the night, and he can just tell a story. Yeah. And then Elvis can play the piano. So I'm, he, I'm getting there so And Elon far. Musk can give everyone a Tesla. He's at your party. He's not oh, right, to mine. Oh, yours, okay. Oh, bollocks. Well, I'm stealing Elvis off you. He can do two gigs. <laughs> oh, you can't have Elvis. You've got to have another singer. I'd have Eddie Murphy. 
you, you, I was going to say Michael Jackson, but it, it's, it depends whether you have to go what year, because towards the end, his face would put you off your dinner. Well, I don't have any kids at my gaff anyway, so I'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it was never proven. <laughs> It was never proven. Um, <laughs> I can see Linda, the producer, just picked up a pen and paper and went, Cross that out. No, <laughs> can't say that. <laughs> no, yeah, but yeah, if, if you had Michael Jackson, 80s, 90s, yeah, but I think towards the end, his face was a bit, it put you off your turkey. <laughs> so what are you, who are you going to go for? I got Eddie Murphy. He's good. Yeah. Mind you, is he, is he funny naturally though? I mean, it's not, you're not going to be doing stand-up delirious or raw, is he? I feel like, I feel like he is funny. He's got to be funny naturally, hasn't he, Eddie Murphy? I don't know. I don't he know. He feels like he must be. I don't know. <clears throat> Already, I'm prefer preferring my party to yours. Um, hang on. <laughs> now, we need a bit of eye candy around the table. <laughs> Already, I'm preferring my party. <laughs> <laughs> Can Elon Musk I and Eddie Murphy mate, sat in a corner talking about... of the presents. Okay, but come on. It's a dinner. Come on. Order. Christmas is about you getting said, presents. You said he was a giver. <laughs> you're not. You're it a fucking... I've always knew you were... I always knew you were a receiver. I always knew you were a taker. <laughs> you love it, don't you? Um... I don't know. We need, we need a bit of... I need some ladies around the table or one, one lady. All right, go for it. Who are you going for? Oh. Ooh. I know, who I, I know who I've got. Um, Beyonce. Why not? I like Beyonce. And she can duet with Elvis. Don't pull your face like that. Why? Who are you going with then? Cindy Crawford. Still. Still? How old still, is she? Like 105. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mate. Is I, she alive still? I think so. Was she well, dead or alive? She would be if she was at my dinner party. <laughs> yes, that's true. I've said Elvis. <laughs> yeah. I've got Elvis there. Exactly. And Billy Connolly's on his way out. Leave him. I'll leave him. He's got Parkinson's. Don't be tight. Love Billy Connolly. Um, so, right, you've got Beyonce. I oh, should have gone with Beyonce. It's too late now. No, no. You, I've, had a, I've had a result there. Yeah, but she's beautiful and she Cindy can Cindy sing Cindy. and she can dance. So she'll be up there dancing at the end of the night. Yeah. Um, you've got to, now we've got to think of somebody who's going to cook dinner because Michelle's been relegated. She's gone. So we've got to think of a chef. Um, Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, but he's too much fucking and fucking, isn't he? He's, yeah, but he still stays in the kitchen. I'm not having him around the table. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk, cook, sweat in the kitchen, <laughs> cook boy. And stop lying about having played for Rangers. You didn't. <laughs> Right, there we go. <laughs> There's a bit, bit of an old pass there with Ralph. And, and no, the, it's no pass. It's just for, it was really, you know, there's a lot of people, right? There's a lot of people in our industry who are like, yeah, I used to do this. I used to do this. This is what level I played at football. And then it turns out it's bollocks. And Rangers released a statement a few years ago going, going we've never had uh, Gordon Ramsay on our books ever. We checked all the archives. But it's become part of this whole legend. So you just like, talk bollocks? Yeah, he's like, oh, I used to be a pro. I used to play for Rangers. Lies. You heard it here first. Gordon Ramsay talk shit. Um, who knew? Who knew? <laughs> it's the most, most wonderful, wonderful time of, of the year. year. <laughs> See, information on this show. Um, I, I, what, what she called, um, you used Delia to have Smith. that laugh. That she, she was famous for a laugh. Nigella Lawson. No, black Delia lady. Um, <laughs> laughs like that. That sounded like him, the comedian, didn't he? What's he called? <laughs> who? Who, what's he called? <laughs> him. What's he called? <laughs> I have no idea. It looks a bit like pissing a pervert. What's it called? Black hair. Looks like Pee Wee Herman a little bit. <laughs> Jimmy Carr. Jimmy Carr. That's what I sounded like. I didn't mean. Who did I mean? What's Wait, she called? Wait, hold on. Sorry. I have to go back. Do your Jimmy Carr impression again. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 nothing <laughs> like Jimmy Carr. That's not even close to well, Jimmy I, I Carr. I don't know. Well, him. I didn't mean him anyway. I meant what she called. Um... What's her name? Rusty Lee. Rusty Lee! Get her in the kitchen. My meat will all be nice and seasoned. She's got a great laugh and I bet she's fun. I've actually met her. She is fun. She's lovely. Does Michelle um, and Michelle's family, are there any Christmas uh, traditions from... Uh, where's she, is she from Trinidad? Is Grenada. She, Grenada. Are there any Caribbean Christmas traditions that <gasps> she's brought into the home? Not really. I mean, just different. To be honest, I'm quite forceful with my traditions. So <laughs> <laughs> I just go, we're doing it this yeah. way. Michelle, it's sausage in the mouth time. No, that kind not. of thing. <laughs> That's Christmas Eve, sunshine. <laughs> I put a bow on it. I'm going to wrap your present first. <laughs> I would. <laughs> it won't look like this for long. I put a bow on it. <laughs> If you liked it, you should have put a ball on it. <laughs> glitter. I do a bit of glitter. A bit of glitter on it. A bit of glitter. A bit of glitter and a bow. 
Um, but no, um, I no, the traditions sort of, yeah, I sort of enforce my traditions <laughs> on the kids. Um, yeah, because I think she wanted the kids to open presents in their bedroom before they get up and then go downstairs. But I like to go downstairs together. And we always, always used to do this thing with the kids going, he might not have been. What if he hasn't been? Oh, All yeah, that. that's part of it. Like, my so, so my brother, little brother's 10 years younger than me. So, obviously, by the time all that magic had gone. Then my brother's born, so we get to relive it all again. And he used to run downstairs and he'd come running back up going, he's been, yeah. he's been. And you've got the half-eaten carrot on the mantelpiece and the mince pie and the sherry half gone and all that kind I've of got, thing. I've got coal. I've got like a, a fake coal fire. So I've, I always throw some coal around the floor like, and then put footprints through it with my boots. And it, well, no, they're Santa's footprints. Any children listening, not mine. And, uh, and I go, look at the messy son, he's wrecked the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, another thing, if there's any children listening or if you're with children, right, turn it down now. The best thing about Cunt. this year, oh, wait, sorry. the best thing about this year, <laughs> Start that again. the best thing about this year is the uh, Santa's elves, you know, the elves, elf on the shelf. Yeah. The kids told us that they knew it was us and we had to, we could stop doing it. Fucking hell. Anyone does Elf on the Shelf, it's an absolute nightmare. What's Elf on the Shelf? What it is, is Elf on the Shelf is you get them, right? And at the 1st of December, they arrive at the house. So they arrive somewhere in the house, right? The kids get up and he's there. And then every day you wake up, he's moved and the kids find where he is and he's up to mischief, right? The elf. It's a little elf this big, right? You can see why I'm confused. How does it move? Obviously, we fucking do. Well, I don't know that. That's why I've said to the kids, turn it down. But the problem is, kids come downstairs and you and he's got to be moved somewhere. And you forgot to move him. The, that's the thing is you go, I should go to bed. You turn the lights off and you get to get upstairs. You go, fuck the elf. <laughs> and you've got to go find the elf. You've got to think of something to do that's going to be fun or magical. Do all that before bed. The amount of times you've got, and you've got to think of something new every day. Stick him under a cushion. Up to Christmas and the kids are not allowed to touch it. That's Otherwise, the magic wears off. So they can't touch it. So where was the where was the most interesting and the most boring place you hid it? Well, the, the one of the best ones I did. My son got a sign um, for Christmas. <coughs> what one year? I think he got it for me, and it said, "Beware, stinky shit in progress." <laughs> and you put it outside your, the toilet door. I think they got it for me, a yellow sign. So I put that next to the cupboard on the floor, and had the elf sat on the edge. <laughs> like he was having a poo yeah and then I had some chocolate raisins melted them a bit and then run it all down the back of this cupboard and then a big pile of them on the floor like that and then yeah and then I had the sign there and then I got up in the morning the kids came in here, dad you won't believe what the elves done have come down and went the dirty bastard <laughs> Will uh, I think I'm allergic to this Christmas jumper it might be the cats have you got cats because I've got you don't want cats <laughs> Will I'm so allergic to cats. <laughs> Have you seen my it's eyes? It's the most <laughs> wonderful, wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen my eyes streaming? I'm sneezing. My you nose is take it off. Then. All right. Oh, okay, jump her off. Let's hope I recover. He's absolute. You're a stitch up merch. You're a double agent. I'm supposed to be doing this podcast with you. I'm dying. Um. So, hold on. You're allergic to Christmas. I'm allergic. You literally are the Grinch. I'm allergic to you. Oh. What's happened to you? You've got cat hair all over that jumper and gravy. It does it surprise you? Cats, seriously. My cats, you know I've got these two cats, right? And, and you know I've had problems with, with the cat story. Still people talk to me about, which is definitely, which is true, 100%. Um, at Christmas, seriously, the kids, my daughter, especially because she loves the cats and they love her. Um, but... She wants to buy the cats presents. Oh, we get the cats this, get the cat. I said, they get fed. They have to live in this house. That's their present. The fact that they don't listen to anything I say, <laughs> all they do is cover my house in hairs. That's why it's on that jumper. That's been in my cupboard. That means they've been in my cupboard. Yeah. Bastards. Yep. And do you know what it is? Definitely have. The thing to think about, because you're a dog person, right? Mm -hmm. I know we know you love dogs. I'm a dog person, but my wife won't let me have a dog because they take a lot of work. And cats sort of do their own thing a little to yeah, a certain extent. Yeah, they don't give a shit. But you try and train a cat to tell a cat to not go on your furniture. Because they've got, they've got their own little council estate. I bought them, like, <laughs> cat furniture. That's yours, right? It's got a scratch pad on it. It's got comfy seating. That's yours. <laughs> this this is stuff mine. here that's cost me a lot of money, don't go near it, right? And every time they go on it, I shit them up. Go on, get off. So I think that... 
that sort of would tell them, I'm going to get shouted at if I go on this chair. They don't give a they shit. Don't give a shit. And they know. And they'll stare you out for you eye contact. What? They know because I'll walk in the room and I'll get towards a chair and you'll see him slope off. So they know, yeah. but they don't give a shit. Yeah. So I just don't know what to do. And, and do you know what? The other day, this is a God's honest truth. I'm watching the TV and there's this bloke talking about pets. And if you died, which pets are most likely to eat you first? Cats. Cats. All hey, get this. A day, and they'd be on you. A day! Dogs, weeks. So I'm thinking, I don't want to fucking nod off. No. <laughs> Imagine I nod off and there's a cat chewing on my toe. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, cats, they said, they'll have your head off in a week. They don't give a shit. They'll go, he smells dead. Let's eat the bastard. Oh, on which note, I'd better check. What? See if my mum's texting me. She has. Oh, is your mum <laughs> still alive? I got a text about five minutes ago. I'm still alive, mum. Oh, good. Well, that's made Christmas. <laughs> it's the it most wonderful time <laughs> of this. But it's true, honestly. So, yeah, if you've got a cat, right, and you died, they would happily start eating you after about a day. Whereas dogs, because they're more loyal and they would still see you as their owner. Yeah, they'd be really sad. On, honestly, it made me think. It made me think. It's like cat. sometimes I find them sniffing around me when I'm on the couch having a nap. I think them bastards are trying to eat me. <laughs> they're, they're, they're peckish. <laughs> they're thinking. They've got a full bowl of food in the kitchen, but they're after me. I don't want that dry food. I'm going to start eating Will's earlobes <laughs> while he's asleep. <laughs> right. Let's have a look at some. Uh, let's have a look at you some. You know, there's some, some weird people out there, right, who might find Christmas and see Christmas in a different way. Do you think there's people out there that have shagged their turkey? I mean... I'm j listen, I'm not saying in the general public. Will. But I'm saying, I'm saying there must be someone out there that's gone... Will. I can put my hand in that. Will. What? Have you shagged a turkey? No, I haven't. I feel like, no, I haven't. I feel like this is one of five conversations that oh. we're going to have. And the first conversation is, some people are weird. And the final fifth conversation is, me and the turkey are getting I'll married. I'll tell you the truth. I'm not going to mention any names. I knew somebody that used to have sex with meat. He would buy steak, heat it up, and have sex with it. <laughs> and, then, and then serve it. I don't think I don't think he ate it afterwards. I don't think it was. I don't think it was. It, it didn't work in a restaurant. Well, I think it was at home. Well, but I, I don't know, know somebody who did that. Well, now that makes me think: if you're going to do that to a piece of steak, a turkey is a lot more inviting. Yeah. Listen, mate, marinade. No, marinade, Ralph, Ralph, Ralph. <laughs> Ralph that'll be too salty. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one who's talking about seasoning the meat properly. Leave, leave it. <laughs> no, it was just it was just a random one. Uh, I think I'm a bit pissed on this. I feel it is. like. <laughs> I feel like you fucked a turkey. I feel no, like that's what the. No. If no. anyone from any of the tabloids is listening, <clears throat> basically Will Mellor's no, just said that he's no. fucked a turkey. It's, do you know what it's the same as? It's a they, tradition. Do you know what they talk about? Because I love fishing and you catch a carp, right? And then what? Well, apparently some people stick their cocks in my carp's <laughs> mouths. Which people? No, I've, I've, I've seen it somewhere. <laughs> You've seen it? I'm somewhere. I've seen You've somewhere. seen a guy do that? I'm sure I have. I'm sure I have. You've seen a guy do I that. I don't want to hang myself because I've been saying, what are you Googling to see that? But <laughs> there's somewhere, because I'm just thinking there's sick people out there. You know what I mean? And you go fishing a lot. I see carp's mouths and it does resemble something. And I'm just thinking someone somewhere must have done that. And if they've done that, there's some turkey with a different look on its face somewhere. <laughs> just dead sad. <laughs> just dead sad. Just a really just upset turkey. Like, they're already dead, yeah. aren't they? No, the turkey's like, I would rather have just been eaten. <laughs> there was no need for any of that. <laughs> I want to. I want to know if this is this is you on Christmas Day. What? What's me on Christmas? My name is Lisa, and this is my first drink of wine this evening. My name is Lisa, and it's my last <laughs> She's absolutely blitzed, <laughs> battered. That's a good idea to record a video after every drink. Yeah. All right. We should do that. All right. I'll I'll do it if you do it. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> We, all right, so here's the so we'll do it on yeah. Christmas Day, and then we'll compile it, and then we'll put it out in an episode. Okay, all okay. Right. After every, I'm not drinking any of this ice cream shit. You, you are. In front of me, hey, no. uh, I know you're finishing it over the course bit, of this podcast. Makes me feel a bit pat and mick. <laughs> it's just a bit. It's just too creamy. It's yeah. like an ice creamy lemonade. Do I put a bit more of that in? Whoa, no, it's just too sickly. Well, you've committed to it now, so you have got to finish it. <laughs> it's not nice. Well, who has that on Christmas? You're having it. 
Imagine throwing a Christmas dinner on top of all that. <sighs> that is a bit Anyone much. want dessert? No, I've been drinking it all day. <laughs> right. This is just, this isn't this particularly now? festive, but it's just funny stuff to watch. Have you got your bins? What do oh, you mean in my bin? Well, I don't know. Okay. Press, press play. <laughs> oh, I've seen this. I've seen this all of their ankles. <laughs> so they got chickens on the feet. Yeah. Okay. Listen, I need to show you this. I don't even know. I'm going to show it to I you. I do feel sick. I am not joking. I'm going to show this to you. What? I don't even know if we'll have to cut this out because it's, it's about three minutes long. But honestly, this I saw this the other week and I, this made me laugh more than almost anything I've ever seen. And I'm not even quite sure why I find it so funny. All right. Now listen... I got to show you this. We may not be able to use it, but what? I saw this, and it starts off and it's weird, what? and then you keep watching it, and it get for me, it got funnier and funnier. I could not speak by the time it's I, on for three minutes. I don't know how long it is, but just stick with it. If we, if we can't use it, we can't use it. Oh, no cookies. Okay. Oh, I've seen this. It's so fucking funny. Why is there no sound? Oh, hold on. Is he blindfolded? They're both blindfolded. Oh! <laughs> you, that's not fair, don't you? <laughs> Look at. So they don't know what they're both blindfolded? No, the. The, <laughs> <laughs> the ones doing the hitting aren't blindfolded. <laughs> We've got to try this. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. Why is it so funny? <laughs> Why is it so funny? <laughs> <laughs> We've got to try this. Okay. Ralph, we've got to do this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. <laughs> why, why is that so funny? It's good, though. It's so silly. It's, it's childish banter, which is exactly oh. what we love. That Very is funny. so, so funny. I've got one of the Grinch scaring kids. Have you got it? No, is this the one? Yeah, it is, it's terrifying. It's this. horrible. The, the Grinch is supposed to be fun. They take their kids there, and the kids are absolutely terrified. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He comes in the house. Talk about ruining Christmas. Look. <laughs> Here he is. Look, they're taking the presents, they're hiding, look. They're attacking they're the Grinch. They're attacking the Grinch. They're punching him. <laughs> the Grinch the just Grinch. launched the kid. <laughs> what about the Grinch punching He's back? He's taking all the presents. I mean, talk about terrifying. How are you going to ruin Christmas? I mean, talk about a, a prank going look too him. far. Oh, I mean, seriously. The parents are laughing, but the kids, that'll be scarred for life. Oh. So, yeah, I mean, see the size of that house, by the way, in America? Yeah. I bet it was worth 100 grand. No, see, I, I like doing pranks and stuff like that, but we kids, you've got to... You've got to think see, that through. This Halloween, I was hid outside the front of our house, dressed up, scaring kids, and there was one kid that was properly scared for life. But <laughs> I, I didn't mean to. I scared, I scared his mum, and, and he got scared, and then was screaming. And then me trying to tell him it's all right, Dressed as I was. But it's all right! <laughs> Max! <laughs> Santa falls off roof trying to surprise kids. Yeah. That's <laughs> 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 what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know, man. Anything where people are just falling over, it still makes me laugh, I'm yeah. afraid. Um, that's 
nearly it for this episode. But before we go, um, we're back out on tour. We're coming back out on the road. Yes, if you um, haven't got a Christmas present, this is a perfect gift. Yep, end of sort of end of um, uh, March, moving into April, guys. Come see us. Uh, it's you've missed out on the merchandise because it won't get to you in time for Christmas. Time. But if you haven't got a present yet, you fancy coming to see us? Um, fancy coming to see Will with a sausage in his fly hole? Um, that won't be on tour. I don't. Do you know what? What we should do that as a tour thing. If anyone like just sort of, you know, sometimes you see people fall. Asleep no one's going to nod off at our tour. You trying to sell tickets here? What kind of show have we got? People someone, nodding off. Someone always nods off. Uh, in, no, in every show there'll be show. a sausage there if you do just nod off just be warned if you nod off there's a sausage being popped on your with your name on it <laughs> um, so yeah listen we loved it. we had a great time last time and uh, I believe everyone who came had a great time last time we're going to be in Nottingham, Manchester Birmingham, Liverpool, Bath come and see us more games more audience interaction yeah, um, get your tickets just go to the link in the text below this episode to find out more uh, and come see us it's like, what what better Christmas gift exactly. unless you're inviting Elon Musk and he can give you a Tesla exactly um, yeah yeah, so uh, uh, come come see us. We've not cut into any highlights for the tour. No. So, yeah, come see us. It's going to be great. And um, that's it for... Yeah. I'll see you for our I want to wrap up with this. Oh, What's yeah. your favourite Christmas song? Uh, what gets you in the spirit most? What gives you the lift? I don't know about giving a lift, but I think Fairy Tale in New York's about Mine's it. exactly the Is same. It? Yes, yeah! man! Yes, here it's, we go. It's the one you can only sing when you're half cut and still sound like you're in and tune. And I, to this day, have no idea what the lyrics are. As far as I'm aware, they are... <laughs> but I still love it. It's great. Uh, yeah. I love it. So stick that on um, and think of us this Christmas while you're having the disgusting snowball. Finish it. I can't finish that, mate. Down it. Down it. Let everybody's chance. watching down it. Don't be. Don't, a, I am not don't downing be a it. I'll be sick. Don't be a shit house. Me, me ass has already had a chat with me. I'll down it if you down <laughs> it. No, I'm not downing Three. it. Three. No. Two. No. Will. No, I'll be sick. Three. I will be sick. Two. I'll be sick. What? I don't give a shit. I do. Three. Right. Two. 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 One. Go. You didn't down yours, did you? You shit house. That's it. I'm off. <laughs> Seriously. No, I feel sick. I hope you're happy. No, listen. Fair is fair. No, I've got snot already. Snot. Hey, fair is fair. <laughs> fair is fair. I'll down it. <laughs> See you for the next episode. <laughs>